This is the second video about Translate Mandarin, a software that helps you to practice Chinese. In the following, I'll talk about two new features that were introduced since I published the first demo on YouTube. This interface helps you to grow your receptive vocabulary of Mandarin. Depending on the selection of characters that you have studied up to now, the software displays paragraphs in Chinese for you to read and listen to that comprise of only those familiar characters. To cover a broad range of topics, the text is drawn from the online encyclopedia and displayed along with the images on the respective website. In that way, people, geography, and many other popular facts are accompanied by a visual impression. Using the arrow keys, you can proceed from one word to the next at your own pace. You can also replay words or jump back to the beginning of a sentence. By hiding the characters, the exercise is entirely about the listening comprehension. Should a word be unfamiliar to you, select it to find out about the writing and meaning. The software keeps track of the words you have recognized and increases the pool of vocabulary only gradually to maintain a constant success and learning rate. The program uses statistics to introduce more relevant vocabulary before introducing infrequent expressions. The distribution of Chinese characters in ordinary prose is not uniform. The next application helps you to remember even rarer characters. The task is to listen to the sound and match it to the corresponding word from a list. Typically, the list comprises of words that share similar syllables. After choosing, you can view the pronunciation and translation. The speech synthesis is credit to Google Translate. Due to the large size of the text, image and audio material, I host only the source code of Translate Mandarin on my website. Finally, I want to say thank you to all my Chinese and Malay friends who helped me to validate the software. Shangu